Hello everyone and welcome to a new series on the channel, The Vitas Chronicles, in this episode we will explore the Plutoan, Protovitan and the first half of the Deutero-Vitan eons. Vitas is a rocky planet that resides in the Vitae system being the third planet in said system and has a diameter about one and one quarter the diameter and about double the mass of Earth resulting in high gravity than that of Earth. Vitas has two moons Proba and Malus. Proba is the larger of the two moons being about the size of Earth's moon and Malus is the smaller of the two moons being about a third the size of Earth's moon. Proba completes its orbit two times for each orbit Malus completes. The Pluto and Eon lasted for 600 million years. Vitas at this time was a very hostile place with a dense atmosphere saturated with carbon dioxide and methane, continuous volcanic eruptions, and constant bombardment of asteroids and meteorites. As the Pluto and Eon progressed Vitas began to cool and oceans began to form, and by the end of the Pluto and Eon Vitas was habitable to life. The Protovitan Eon lasted for 2.9 billion years, during this time life first emerged and proliferated across the planet. The first life was microbial and anaerobic huddled around hydrothermal vents surviving on the chemicals spewed out from the vents. Things mostly stayed this way for over a billion years until a group of microbes underwent an evolutionary breakthrough. This breakthrough was the advent of photosynthesis this lead to an increase in oxygen in the oceans and the atmosphere cooling the planet and killing the oxygen intolerant organisms at the time. Another billion years later eukaryotic cells would evolve and diverge into two main lineages. Some would evolve the ability to photosynthesize by absorbing photosynthetic microbes and others would evolve to eat the photosynthesizing prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Over time some eukaryotes would form colonies of cells and members of these colonies would specialize for different functions and eventually become multicellular organisms. These animals would spread and diversify over millions of years but this would end abruptly for these animals. As they would go extinct from an unknown cause, this would mark the end of the Protovitan Eon. The Deuterovitan Eon lasted for 1 900 million years, during this time animals re-evolved. 300 million years after the Deuterovitan Eon's beginning a global ice age called the Great Freeze occurred. The Great Freeze lasted for 400 million years and was caused by a massive increase in oxygen covered most of the planet in an ice sheet. A thin ring of exposed ocean was left around the equator leaving room for photosynthesizers during the Great Freeze animals would stagnate and wouldn't undergo any major developments. After the Great Freeze ended animals would undergo a mass biodiversification event diversifying into many distinct lineages. Now we have come to the end of this episode of the Vitas Chronicles. In the next episode of the Vitas Chronicles, we will cover the animals that lived in the early proto-primary period.